We've already talked about center of gravity. Now let's talk about how bank and weight affect VMC. If you want your VMC to be lowered, what you're going to want is you'll want a 3 to 5 degrees of bank. Actually, you'll want greater bank. So let's go with... Um, let's try this. Steeper. You want a steeper bank. And your weight, you want your weight to be heavier if you're banking. So there you go. You want a steeper bank and you want to be heavier if you're banking. Now, why is that? Well, pretty simple. Let's say that you have two airplanes. This is going to get real familiar. You got your airplane here. Let's redo that. There we go. You got an airplane here, and you've got an airplane here. They've both just experienced an engine failure. Uh, their left engine has failed on both airplanes. As a result, the immediate tendency of the airplane is to bank, or rather to um, turn and bank, yaw and bank, uh, to the left. Now one of the airplanes, the one on the left, has done uh, no banking, and the one on the right has put in a bank into the good engine. Now let's see what happens. All aircraft generate lift, and well, when they're flying they generate lift, and they generate lift perpendicular to their wing surface. So, we'll draw some lift, and we'll label it lift. This is actual lift, so we're going to call it L actual. And we'll draw the same amount of lift right here. L lift actual. We've also got weight, of course. Uh, all aircraft generate, or rather all aircraft have weight, they're always attracted to the earth, so we'll draw weight here, and we'll draw weight here. Alright, so both aircraft have a weight, they have to overcome that weight with lift in order to remain flying. Now, this aircraft right here has all of its lift in an upward direction. Which means that when the airplane steps on the rudder in order to fight the asymmetric turning tendency, it'll be stepping on the rudder here in order to fight the asymmetric turning tendency. The rudder is the only thing that you have available to fight asymmetric turn. Over on this side also you're stepping on the rudder and here's the rudder. Uh, trying to overcome the asymmetric turning tendency. However, in this case, you've also got an extra benefit. You can break a diagonal lift vector down into a pair of smaller component lift vectors. This one will be lift vertical. And over here, uh, we'll draw lift horizontal. This is the horizontal component of lift. The green one is the vertical component of lift. The vertical component of lift is what keeps the airplane in the air. The horizontal component of lift is what usually turns the airplane. It's what causes the airplane to turn when you bank it. Now, in this case, the horizontal component of lift is acting in a direction opposite the asymmetric turning tendency, which is nice because it means that the horizontal component of lift, lift horizontal, will serve to reinforce the rudder. It'll actually make the rudder more effective by opposing the asymmetric turning tendency of the engine. So anytime that you're in a single engine configuration, you can benefit by banking the airplane. It's not just three to five degrees, any amount of bank, uh, whether it's one degree, six degrees, or 30 degrees, uh, any amount of bank will generate, see, any amount of bank will generate horizontal component of lift, and any amount of horizontal component of lift uh, that serves to counteract asymmetric turning tendencies will be helpful. Why do we say 3 to 5 degrees of bank? Uh, you'll see in a minute. Now what about weight? 
we said a second ago that uh, greater weight would help you, but only if you're banking. Well, let's find out. What happens if your weight suddenly increases? Well, if your weight suddenly increases and you want to stay flying, you must generate more lift in order to stay in the air. In this case, however, um, the extra lift does nothing but keep you in the air. That's it. That's all it does. Whereas, over on the right side, if more weight is, uh, if the weight increases, you have to generate more lift, but you have to generate it diagonally. You generate it perpendicular to the wing surface. And when you generate extra lift perpendicular to the wing surface, you wind up getting more component vertical lift, and you also wind up getting more component horizontal lift. Let's try that again. There we go. And when horizontal lift increases, well, check it out, you've suddenly got more horizontal component of lift available to help reinforce the rudder and fight against the asymmetric turning tendencies. So when weight increases, in order to stay in level flight, lift must increase. If you're banking at the time, when your, uh, when your lift increases, your vertical component as well as your horizontal component of lift will increase. And whenever your horizontal component of lift increases, uh, your rudder will be reinforced and it will help you overcome asymmetric turning tendencies. Pretty cool. So, bank, steeper bank, weight, heavier, if you're banking. Notice that bank, oh, that's not right. Notice that bank and weight act together. Um, steeper bank, heavier if banking, and the explanation is exactly the same. That takes care of bank and weight in the VMC diagram.